Hello everybody, welcome back. Now that trade commodities are back in the game, I would like to take a much deeper look at the economy of No Man's Sky and how we can use to our benefit the different types of economy the various systems have, but also the way these types connect with each other, creating profitable trade routes. Before you can become a successful trader in No Man's Sky though, there are a couple of things you should do first and the most important is to invest in a good hauler. In order to get the most out of this activity, a good hauler with a maximum number of slots, which is 48, is essential or at least as close to 48 as possible. As you can see, I am using at the moment a 47 slot hauler which works like a charm. A starship with fewer slots will work as well when you are just starting out, but you want to upgrade as soon as possible. The more slots you have, the more goods you can carry and bigger your profit will be. You don't have to upgrade anything or add warp drives to reach specific systems since the best way to travel around when searching for trade routes is by using your freighter. It can jump everywhere without you adding more modules and perform multiple jumps with one only warp cell. The only item you need to have installed on your starship is an economy scanner. This is because it will allow you to see info about the economy of a system on the galactic map without having to visit that system first. By choosing the economy filter on the map we can see the type of economy a system has, how rich that system is and its sell and buy percentages. As I have mentioned in my previous trading video, there are seven types of economy in No Man's Sky depicted with a different color and icon on the map. These types connect with each other creating trade routes and the loops you can follow to make millions of units. The types of economy are power generation red, mining orange, manufacturing yellow, technology light blue, trading green, advanced materials purple, and scientific dark blue. The first four create a loop and the other three create a second one. Power generation systems sell items to mining systems, which sell items to manufacturing systems, which sell items to technology systems, which sell items to power generation systems. And for the second category, trading systems sell items to advanced materials, which sell items to scientific systems, which sell items to trading systems. By finding systems that belong to a specific type of an economy and following that loop, you can make a lot of money. Let's take a look at the first loop. As you have already seen, I have been looking to start from a power generation system, but you can begin your route from any type if you follow the loop properly. In this case, my route will look like this. Starting from a power generation system, buying goods to sell to a mining system, from where I will buy goods to sell to a manufacturing system, continue to a technology system and end up in a power generation system. The one I started from if I want a simple loop or a new one adding 4, 8 or more new systems to my route always by following the pattern. Let's go back to the map now and discuss how to search for a good system to add in your trade routes. I personally always choose rich systems which are systems described as advanced, affluent, booming, flourishing, high supply, opulent, prosperous and wealthy. Not because they have better prices, in reality how strong or weak is an economy only affects the number of available commodities, which is quite important if you are after the maximum profit. Having a bigger variety of goods to choose from means that you will always fill your cargo hold and make a lot of money. Another detail to take into consideration is the sell and buy percentage of a system. These numbers show how much higher the price of the goods you sell and how much bigger the discount of the goods you are buying will be. In general, you want to find systems that offer a high sell percentage, above 70% preferably, and a quite decent buy discount as well. These systems will offer the best trading opportunities for you. Now that you know what systems to look for, let's talk about from where you should buy and where to sell your goods, but also what to do while you are in that system. You can buy trade commodities from space stations or trade outposts, which are much much better, offer better prices and overall profit margins. I personally ignore the space stations and go directly to the trade outposts. This is another reason why having an economy scanner installed is very important. 
to quickly scan and find the outpost upon entering a system. Once you land at the trade outpost, you can name the system and you should give it a name that will help you remember in which trade route it belongs and which jump in the loop will be. I like naming my trade systems like this. First the trade route they belong, A, B or C. The type of economy it has, which jump is it, first, second, third, etc. And the strength description of the economy. You can follow something similar, adding your name, or an entire different way of naming them. Something else equally important is to visit the space station once you are done naming the systems and unlock its teleport module so in the future you can jump directly like this to the system and trade faster. You will only have to search for the systems with your freighter once. After that, trading will be fast and easy. You can see that I have just returned to the first power generation system I started my route from, completing my loop and making a profit of around 21 millions from that very basic trade route. But the goods have not replenished yet. In this case, you can pick the other available commodities and start the route again with the help of the teleporters, or even better, find another four or more systems to add instead of returning directly to your first system, giving like this time to the goods to replenish their numbers and be full again when you return. The exact same method works on the other category of economies as well with trading, advanced materials and scientific systems. You can even have multiple routes of both types completing them one by one for the maximum profit. So this is how you can create trade routes in Oman no Sky Next and make millions of units with these. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.